Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys, so I'm going to show you how to uh, create a nice, simple and easy uh, text animation in Flash Pro CS 5.5. So let's begin guys, uh, let me hit on the create new uh, Action Script 3 button and the stage is always, uh, as always, is 550 by 400 pixels. The color of the stage is uh, white. Let me get in some text, so let me hit the text tool, shortcut key T, T for Tango. Let me choose a different font than what it is right now. Let me go with Century Gothic. Let me search for it. Right. I'm pressing the letter C on my keyboard again and again. Now I have located Century Gothic. Alright, let me choose a different font color as well. How about this one? Okay. Well, let me go with this one rather. Mm -hmm. Then, guys, make sure that uh, the font is set to classic and static. Right. Let me type something out here. Let me say, cool uh, text. That's it. And uh, then let me use the Align tool, making sure that Align to Stage is checked on. I'll click this icon and this icon. <coughs> Sorry, this icon and this icon to align the text uh, somewhat in the center of the stage. All right. Next, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control B, B for Bravo. After making sure that the text is selected once to break the letters apart and then twice to convert individual letters to shapes or vectors. Now if I were to click on any of these letters and if you were to check in the properties panel, they are actually shapes now guys. Right. Okay. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the, uh, let's say, let's give it a stroke before I actually start using the animation. Let me hit the ink bottle tool guys. You may be seeing that, uh, you know, the paint bucket tool, you need to just click and press and then you can actually select the ink bottle tool to apply a different stroke. Let me, I beg your pardon, uh, choose a different stroke color. Uh, let me go with, the, um, how about this? Okay. And uh, then let me start adding the strokes to individual letters which are now shapes okay by just going uh, over the letters and clicking on it right now that I'm done in fact I'm not so happy with the color that I've used let me try a different color uh, well, that's that's better. Let me also change the color of the stage, guys. Yep. Now that looks better, even better. Now what I need to do is, I need to hit the eraser tool, all right, and make sure that the eraser size is the biggest. Okay. So I actually wanted a bigger size, but since I can't do that, what I can actually do is I can zoom out to, let's say, a 75%. 75%. Okay. Now, this will help, help you actually get a bigger eraser size. In fact, the eraser size actually wouldn't change. But since the text of the stage has uh, uh, kind of become smaller, only in appearance, uh, in effect, the uh, eraser is actually bigger now to work with. Okay, so let me start uh, what I need to do, guys. The first thing that I'll do is I'll hit F6 to insert a blank, or rather to insert a keyframe, guys. Notice out here, earlier we had just one single frame on layer number one. Now we have two, and let me start erasing. So I'm going to erase the the first letter which I've done okay let me hit F6 once again and let me erase uh, the other letter partly hit F6 and uh, 
right f6 once again f6 I'm sure you understand what I'm doing guys f6 f6 all over again okay f6 do nothing f6 once again to erase the letter L f6 partly remove the other letter f6 again destroy it completely f6 okay half of it I'm just destroying or removing half of it f6 again okay that takes care of the complete letter f6 and uh, f6 right and now that I'm uh, I've completely demolished or erased the uh, the whole word what I can do is I can click on layer number one once I do that guys you can notice that all 16 frames have been selected I can right click anywhere and then say reverse frames and guys I'm actually done let me hit control enter to show you what we have actually created so there goes control enter and you can see the uh, kind of typewriter effect so uh, you know gives you that impression that uh, each individual characters are being typed okay so and if you would want to uh, see it at ease at comfort so I can drop the uh, frames per rate from let's say a 24 to a 12 and hit control enter and there you go all right so it wasn't too difficult was it guys so I hope you like this tutorial I hope you learned something from it and I hope to see you very soon with yet another Flash and Action Script 3 tutorial or it could be Dreamweaver CS 5.5. You have a very good day guys. Bye bye. Peace.